The university also runs a range of postgraduate programs that include Master of Philosophy and Master of Arts in Guidance and Counseling, Master of Business Administration and Master of Philosophy in Mathematics. Alongside these mainstream programs, the university provides tuition for both local and international professional courses. These include examinations organized by the Chartered Institute of Marketing, UK. One of the unique features of Methodist University College Ghana is the flexibility of its timetable. This has been designed with not only the regular full-time students in mind, but to also accommodate the needs of working students. To demonstrate this flexibility, the university operates morning and evening streams to serve the needs of all categories of students. I have to uh, attend classes for just four hours. That's from 5 p.m. through to 9 p.m. And there are days when I come from 5 to 7. And I think I have enough time to rest after work because I close around 3 o'clock. So I have two hours to rest before I come for classes. So it's not that um, hectic, if I should put it. I think it's, it's flexible for me. Methodist University College, Ghana, recognizes the centrality of quality infrastructure to academic work. The university boasts of state-of-the-art information technology equipment, a fully computerized library, a keyboard computer library at the music center, and many other cutting-edge technology facilities for the purposes of teaching. These high-grade facilities are matched by an excellent faculty whose membership comprises young, energetic scholars and seasoned lecturers and professors We are in our ninth year and uh, our student population has grown from a little over 200 to almost 4,000. This calls for expansion in learning and teaching facilities. Classroom space, we have uh, over the years tried to increase more space for teaching and then more office space for staff. This is uh, one uh, measure we've taken to cope with the increasing number of students. We've also, over the years, tried to increase the number of staff, particularly teaching staff. For effective teaching, we are aware of the fact that class sizes should be kept as low as possible. So we've advised uh, our lecturers who handle uh, courses which have a lot of students to break up their classes into two or three so that the class sizes are such that effective teaching can take place. Students' accommodation is a top priority for the university administration. Other hostel facilities located in close proximity to the campus to forestall the hassle involved in trekking to and from lectures. As part of the leadership grooming process, the involvement of the student leadership in decision-making is very much encouraged. Well, at uh, Methodist University College, there are various levels of decision-making. First of all, we have the council, which is the highest decision-making body of the school. Then next after that, we have the academic board. Then we have other committees and boards, like the student affairs student affairs committee and then there are other subcommittees where decisions are taken. Now the student leadership feature at all these various committees and boards and our consent and input is sought when decisions are made. At the council for example the SRC president is represented there, represents the students there and when decisions are taken our views are sought. Many a times when uh, a decision is taken and we realize that it was an input from the student leadership, we feel quite happy realizing that we are not left out but we, our decisions and inputs have been taken seriously and are being implemented. And so we realize that um, at these various levels when our inputs are put into implementation, it makes us feel a part of the system 
and our role is very much uh, implemented. I would recommend that anybody who, are, who wants to take a decision to be at the tertiary level should choose Methodist University College. Believe you me, when you come here and you taste of the pudding, you will understand what I'm talking about. And UCG is a faith-based institution. And here, we don't compromise on quality, we don't compromise on discipline and we inculcate into our students Christian values. So by the time the student finishes the UCG, not only will he or she have acquired knowledge, but we, he has become uh, a wholly developed person, spiritually, morally, and of course he goes out or she goes out to be a good citizen. Basically, we want to consolidate the programs that we already have. And by that I mean we go for quality, we also go in for innovative ways of teaching. So we want to employ technology more and more in our teaching. And there are a number of programs that are for uh, faculties, teaching faculties. And we want to cut niches, build, develop niches for ourselves. And for that matter, in the areas of ICT, Music, you know, Methodism was born in, in music and mathematics. In fact, in mathematics, we probably have the best department in this country, uh, private university or state university. So we want to build a niche for that. We've also developed uh, postgraduate programs. Uh, at the moment, we have MBA, we have MPhil in mathematics. Now, in terms of physical expansion, uh, we have this main campus, Dansumang, and we have a satellite campus in uh, Tema. We're planning a campus in Tekendi, Takradi, and also Kumasi. And we, all, we have a, already have a satellite campus in Wenchi that houses our Faculty of Agriculture. So in terms of physical expansion, that is what we want to do. And it's all contained in our strategic plan. After consolidating, we want to also make sure that we pass through the community. Uh, this is something that we really want to do. How does the university pass through the community in terms of service? And this, we want to involve staff and students alike. And then eventually we want to do distance education to be operating a dual mode that is you know, face to face on campus as well as distance education, bringing tertiary education more and more to the doorsteps of the people. So that's, that's, those are the plans we have.